Welcome to Thanksgiving Pro Tips Part 7, the turkey. This is the last video in the series this year, so let's go out on a high note. I love a good standing rib roast as my secondary protein on Thanksgiving, but to me, it's just not Thanksgiving without a nice turkey. Turkey usually comes oven roasted, smoked, or the ever so popular fried. No matter how you like your turkey, we're gonna give you some tips how to make a bird that's juicy and full of flavor. In this video, I'm using two chickens instead of a turkey, but the technique is the same. Just know that the ingredients will be more and it may take more time. To have a good turkey, you must brine it. There's lots of videos on brining techniques so you can choose your favorite, but you can still make a simple brine at home yourself. The chickens in this video were made using a simple salt water brine. After the brining was complete, a very important step is to make sure you rinse off all of that excess salt or your turkey's going to be too salty. I also spatchcocked the turkeys, which means I removed the backbone. After your turkey is fully rinsed, you want to pat it dry on the outside and underneath the skin. Because we brined our turkey, we're going to season it with ingredients that do not contain salt. These are our Cajun turkey ingredients, and we're going to inject with Cajun butter. I rubbed some olive oil on the bird, and then I seasoned it underneath the skin and on top, making sure to cover the top and the bottom of the chicken fully. I injected it all over with that Creole butter. Our Cajun turkey is ready for the oven. Proteins are cooked by temperature, not time. So you can estimate 13 minutes per pound on your turkey, but you wanna make sure it's cooked to 165 degrees in the breast, 175 degrees in the thigh. We basted the chicken with Creole butter about every 30 minutes, and this is how it looks out the oven. You wanna let it rest before you carve and serve. For our second chicken, I made a more traditional savory chicken. These are the ingredients I used. Again, no salt because our bird was already brined. Instead of injecting the bird this time, I used some softened unsalted butter along with olive oil combined with all of our seasonings. I then rubbed it all over, making sure to get underneath and on top of the skin. I baste it using a combination of melted butter and chicken broth. And this is how the bird looks out of the oven and ready to go. Again, rest for a while before you serve it. Fun fact, this chicken is actually the chicken that was used in the cornbread dressing video from a couple of days ago. And there you have it. The three keys to a great turkey are brining, basting, and watching that temperature so that you don't overcook it. I hope you found the information in this series helpful. Tag me with any comments or questions, and I hope you're well on your way to being a Thanksgiving pro. Happy Thanksgiving!